Welcome everyone to transfer data to Google Pixel 8 from an old phone. This can be an old Google Pixel. It can be any other Android like a Samsung or it can be an iPhone. The first step is we need to get to this welcome to your Pixel screen. Now, if you lock your Pixel and then wake it, and you see the lock screen here, and then you see the home screen, we will need to factory reset our new Pixel 8. In order to do this, the first step is I want you to open up the settings. And in the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see system. And then I want you to scroll to the bottom until you see reset options and then tap erase all data tap on the on-screen buttons and then your google pixel 8 should factory reset and you'll see welcome to your pixel from here let's tap on get started and we see set up using another device if you have an old Android, regardless of the model of Android, it could be Google, Samsung, you will see set up Pixel 8 and the option to set up. But if you have an iPhone, you're not going to see anything. So what this does is if we have an Android phone, by tapping on set up, we can seamlessly move our Wi-Fi network and our Google accounts to our new Pixel 8. So I will scan the QR code. I will verify it's me. And now it's going to move the Wi-Fi network. It's going to move the Google accounts. If you're transferring data from an iPhone, you will need to manually enter in the Wi-Fi password. You will need to manually sign into your Google accounts. And so there was an iPhone or iPad button you would need to tap that and then enter in your Wi-Fi and then sign in to your Google account. Regardless, if you used an old Android to connect your Wi-Fi, to log into your accounts, or you had to manually enter in your Wi-Fi and Google account, we should see the same screen here, which says connect to mobile network. So it's saying if you have a SIM card, insert it now or if you have an eSIM tap download eSIM to download your eSIM. If you used eSIM on your old iPhone or your old phone you cannot move it over to your new Pixel 8 so if you used a QR code you would need to get a new QR code and then you tap on download eSIM and scan the new eSIM QR code and if you have a SIM card, you can insert it with the SIM card slot. I have dedicated tutorials on both activating eSIM and inserting a SIM card, and I'll have them both in the description, but you don't need to do this now. I'm going to tap on skip and then skip again. And you can always set up eSIM or physical SIM later, and you can do that in the settings. It's now asking us to set a pin. You have a screen lock options. And if you tap this, you can use another form of authentication. So I'm going to enter in my pin. And then I will re-enter in the pin. It is now asking us to set up fingerprint unlock. Let's scroll to the bottom. And if we agree, we can add a fingerprint. If we select no thanks, then you won't add a fingerprint. Now let's tap on start. And uh, we need to hold our finger on the fingerprint icon. So we're going to hold our finger and then we're going to release. And you will need to repeat this process, but each time slightly move the finger you're using so that as much of that finger is captured by the fingerprint sensor as possible. 
So we're to the left side here, to the right. And there we go, the fingerprint has been added. If you want to add another fingerprint, tap on add another. Otherwise, we can tap on next, but you can always add more fingerprints later in the settings. We now see copy data from, and you'll either see your Android device or your iPhone. Let's tap on next. If you're transferring data from an Android, it should be seamless. You can see we're already connected together. If you're transferring data from an iPhone, it will ask you to connect your iPhone to your Pixel 8. So in the box of the Pixel 8, there is this dongle here. This is an adapter. And so if you're trying to connect your iPhone to your Pixel, and one then isn't connecting to the pixel, connect the side which is not connecting to your pixel into this adapter, and then connect this part into the Google Pixel 8, and then you'll be able to connect both phones together. If you're watching this, and your Android for some reason is asking you to connect both devices, then you may also need to use this adapter. On iPhone, you will also need to go to the home screen and there'll be a trust message. Just tap on trust to trust the connection between your Pixel and your iPhone. Regardless if you used Android or iPhone, you should now see this screen getting ready to copy. So it's scanning all of the old files from your old phone and it's going to check what can be moved to your new Pixel 8. So we see, choose what to copy. And each option, if you tap the tick, you can select or unselect. If you have an iPhone, please note that because iPhone runs a different operating system to the Google, not as much data can be transferred compared to if you're moving from your old Android to your new Pixel 8. So in my case, if I leave everything ticked, it will take 17 minutes. To make this video go faster, I'm going to untick photos and videos and apps, but I would recommend you leave everything selected. And once you're happy with what to move, tap on copy. So it's gonna start the copying in the background. And while that's happening, we can continue the setup. So we see here, Google services. If you want your device to be backed up to Google, turn on use device backup. If you don't, turn this one off. We then see here, use location. You want to turn this one on as each application has to ask for permission before location can be used. Allow scanning. This allows Google to know your location even when you are offline. It can be useful sometimes, but I personally turn this one off. Send data to Google. I personally turn this one off as well. And then we'll scroll to the bottom and we will accept. Warranty, this will just show your warranty information. You can tap your country to view the information. Well, let's just tap on next. Continue setup. If you tap on leave, then it will not set up Google Pay and Google Assistant on your phone. If you want to set up Google Assistant and Google Pay, tap continue. I'm personally going to tap on leave and get reminder. We now see review additional apps. Just tap on OK to install these apps or untick apps you don't want. And now the data is going to copy. Please be patient for this to finish. Once we see here, copying's done. That means the data transfer has completed. If you were using an iPhone, you wouldn't see anything on your old iPhone. So on the Pixel 8, let's tap on done. And now it's going to get our phone ready. It's now saying here, 
swipe to navigate. If you have used swipe gestures before, tap on skip. Otherwise, tap on try it and it will give you instructions on how to navigate your pixel. I'm going to tap on skip. And now we're ready. So if you go to the swipe navigation settings, you can switch between gesture navigation and the old button navigation. And if we press home or swipe up, we can now go home. So you can see what is transferred. The wallpaper has moved. If I go to the messages, let's go to the messages here. You can see the messages have been moved over as well. If I turned on photos and videos and apps, those would be moved as well. And everything has been moved. But please make sure that all of your accounts have been signed in, that everything's been signed in before you factory reset your old phone. And please note, if you're transferring data from an iPhone, not as much data as you want will be moved over. Again, the operating system is different. This does work best if you're transferring from an old Android to a new Android. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.